Hey guys, Dr. Witt here. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick example video of what you can do uh, with a workout, uh, kind of how to shoot it if you're doing it by yourself. Um, I'm just in my, my gym or my garage, <laughs> aka my gym, uh, by myself, uh, just recording on a cell phone, my, my iPhone. Uh, it's pretty simple to do. I just propped it up uh, on a counter in my garage and uh, check to see that you can you can see the area where I'm going to be working out. Um, this is basically my space here. Uh, I have some uh, TRX bands that are um, attached to my wall, and I'm just going to take you through um, a brief uh, TRX lower body workout. Uh, this is something that I do probably two to three times a week um, after a run. Uh, so I just got done doing a 12 mile run. So now I'm going to come in here and, and do a quick TRX uh, routine. Uh, it's going to involve some squats, uh, single leg squats. Um, I'm going to do some um, calf raises, uh, some RDLs, which are basically like a deadlift with single leg, um, and some glute activation exercises. I'll take you through uh, one round and explain each uh, exercise and then um, I'll probably do a second round and then I'll, I'll shut the video off and you can you can do more if you want now uh, with this workout um, you, you you really don't need TRX bands. Um, I use them just because um, Well, I use them usually when I when I do a workout post run uh, Because my legs are pretty fatigued right now uh, So I just I just ran 12 miles at like a sub 7 pace So I'm, I just plugged in about an hour and 23 minutes of running uh, so my legs are a little tired, uh, so I use the TRX bands to help stabilize so I can focus on just activating uh, my major muscles. Um, and that's really key, especially when you're preparing for like a race. Uh, as your muscles get f fatigued as the race goes on, the goal is to work on activating those big muscle groups and to keep your form so that you prevent injury. Uh, so that's pretty much my goal with this workout um, is I want to... Uh, try and activate those muscles and prevent um, injury. Uh, I'm going to get my stopwatch uh, uh, ready to go and uh, and then we'll hit it. All right, uh, I'm going to take you through the first one. So I'm going to start off, um, well ob obviously when you're I'm already warmed up, so if, if you're doing this video, you're gonna if you're following along, uh, you're gonna want to do a quick warm up first. Uh, I obviously just ran, so I don't need a warm up, but you could pause this and go for a jog or a quick walk or ride a bike real quick or whatever, uh, just to get the the blood flowing. All right. Otherwise, here we go. So I've shortened my my TRX band so that they can fit in this frame. Otherwise, usually I'd be further back. Um, I'm just going to hold on to the handles um, and just I'm going to start off with a squat. I'm just going to squat down about 90 degrees. Um, you can't really see my lower body because I've got it on landscape view, but uh, basically I'm trying to get uh, my butt about parallel with my knees uh, so that my knee joint is at a 90 degree angle. And as I'm doing these, as I come up, uh, I'm squeezing my glutes. Um, and then kind of squeezing through my quads towards the end of the rep. Uh, what I'm trying to do that because I want to work on activating my glutes and my quads simultaneously while I'm running. Uh, so I'm trying to stick with that running form. Okay, I don't go below uh, 90 degrees because typically when you're running, um, you're, you're really not pressing off uh, anywhere below 120 degrees. So I did about 10 reps, um, give or take, you can do like 15 or so. Again, this is just kind of body weight stuff, so um, you know, the, the repetitions can be um, easier. I'm gonna lower this down a little bit so you can see uh, how far down I go. Uh, so now I'm gonna do the single leg squat, and on these I'm just dropping down on one, one leg and then coming back up. And the other leg I'm just leaving in the air uh, behind me. Okay. So you're just trying again, get right about 90 degrees, maybe not even 90 degrees, because uh, as a runner, I'm really pressing off about right here, right? And so that's my goal is I'm trying to work on squeezing my glutes and stabilizing and using my quads uh, to press through. 
All right, I'm going to switch to the other leg. Probably do only about 10 um, reps uh, on each leg is sufficient, uh, especially if you're doing like, you know, three rounds of this. So I try and aim for, for about 10 rounds or 10 reps on each side and for each exercise and then do about uh, three to four rounds depending on how I'm feeling. Now another thing to keep in mind when you're doing the single leg squat is you want to keep your knee over your toe and you want to keep it in line just like when you're running. You're keeping everything in, in parallel in line. Uh, this, is, this is my dog right here. Come here Penny. Penny wants to say hi. This is Penny Lou. She's a, a basset hound. She's not quite my running buddy, but uh, she, she goes out with me sometimes. Yes, you do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so next exercise, I'm going to switch. I'm going to give my, my quads and my glutes um, uh, a break, and I'm going to focus on the calves. So I'm just holding on to the T-Rex bands. I'm going to start off with double leg calves. And I know you can't really see my feet, but basically I'm, I'm just lifting my heels off of the ground and just in a control, nice controlled fashion, just going up and down, okay? And I'm gonna do about 15 of these. Okay, now I'm gonna switch to single calf. So now I'm just holding, using the TRX bands to stabilize myself, and I'm just going up and down on my left foot. It would be a lot better if I had someone recording this for me. Um, I'm going to switch to my right foot now. Uh, but unfortunately, my basset hound is not capable of holding the iPhone and recording. But she is capable of being right underneath my feet, which is what she's doing. Yes, yes, we see you. Uh, okay, did about 10, 10 reps on each, um, each calf, each leg. So uh, next, I'm going to uh, do some RDLs, which are going to target uh, my hamstrings, okay? So with the RDLs, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with my left leg. Um, I'm going to just lift back like this, lean forward, and as I come up, I'm squeezing, I'm squeezing my glute. I'm trying to activate my glutes. Um, so I'm stretching through the hamstring on my left leg right now, through here. Okay, stretching through the hamstring and then, and then driving with my with my glutes, or driving my knee forward on the opposite leg and to activate my glutes, and so it helps when you actually drive the leg up, because then you really can activate the glutes better. Okay. These are a little bit more taxing. It doesn't look like I'm doing a whole lot, but there's a lot of pressure on my hamstrings and my glutes, and especially after a long run. I don't want to do too many of these because uh, you can risk uh, pulling either your groin or your hamstring. Try and stay stable here. So right now I'm doing a bad job. I gotta, I gotta drive that knee, and that's gonna help activate that right glute. Now you could do these with a, a kettlebell or dumbbells or, a, or even a barbell on your back um, to add resistance. I'm not because I don't want to bulk up and I also don't want to hurt myself because I've been running a lot of miles lately. All right, now I'm gonna do um, just like a 45 degree uh, kickback to try and activate my glutes. Um, I don't know what the technical name for these are, but I just call it the, the kickback. So I'm going to balance um, on my left leg. So I'm going to work on my right glute first. And all I'm going to do is just kick, kick that leg back at 45 degrees. So you can see from this angle, I'm just kicking it back at an angle. And I'm, um, I'm working on squeezing uh, the gluteus medius and minimus and, and the maximus and working on those stability muscles there. Um, this is really helpful, especially uh, if, if you have issues with your IT band getting tight or you have knee pain. Um, I just came back from an 
IT band injury. I was out for about two months between August and let's see when is that? Was it September and October? I think I was out. So now I'm switching the other leg, and I had to do physical therapy, and they they told me start working on activating those little gluteal muscles because that's going to help um, help overcome the compensation on the on the lower leg. And I just do about 10 to 15 on each of those, okay? So that's basically uh, the routine. Um, and so now I'm just gonna go through it again. Uh, it's, it's a pretty short routine, like you could do each set within five minutes. Um, usually I try and do about a 20 to 30 minute workout, so I'll go through that uh, three or four times and then uh, do some other little exercises um, to help activate my glutes. Um, that's really the key for, for runners is to make sure that you, your glutes are firing and that you're not compensating with your, your hip flexors, which I tend to do because I'm quad dominant. Um, and that's why I have IT band issues and why I end up having uh, knee problems as well. Um, so anyways, I'm going to go through the routine again so you can feel free to watch one more time uh, and then I'll end the video and you can, you can keep doing more um, uh, sets if you'd like. Okay, so here we go. Uh, back to the squat. So again, I'm just coming down about 90 degrees, and as I come up, I'm trying to simultaneously squeeze my glutes and activate my quads. So I'm squeezing here, right, to come up, and then, and then I'm also squeezing, or I'm activating uh, the quadriceps as well. And if you can do that simultaneously, you can really produce a lot of power, um, especially when you're running whether it's for sprinting short distance or just maintaining form um, during a long distance run. You can even make this harder by lifting the bands overhead and doing an overhead squat. Sometimes I like to throw those in. Okay. All right, next I'm gonna to switch to a single leg. Okay. And again, I'm just going straight down, uh, trying to keep my chest in line with my knee and my knee in line with my toe. And when I'm doing this, I'm really focusing on squeezing that glute when I come up. Okay, I'm gonna switch. knee pop in there. That's a sign of getting old. Things start creaking. Okay, uh, next is the calf raises. So again, I'm just going to hold onto the bands and I'm just lifting my heels off the ground. Do about 15 of these. I'm going to switch to single leg, left leg first. I was mentioning earlier that this would be a lot more ideal if someone else was video recording. Um, my wife is upstairs asleep. She had an appointment with her pillow. And she didn't want to get up and do this before my lecture. Go figure. Can't blame her though. Alright, switching to the right. Should I get in about 10 on each? Okay, now I'm gonna to go to the RDLs. Working on balancing, going down, stretching that hamstring, and then as I go up, drive that opposite knee and squeeze the glute. This also helps with balance. Uh, sometimes I'll do these without TRX bands and use a weight or something. Uh, and it really helps to work on your balance. Okay, I'm going to switch. Usually I try and get in 10 on each leg. Um, I'm not really even counting right now, to be honest. I'm just going based off of feel. The more you do this, 
the more you know when your body's done. <laughs> Uh, so I like to kind of go until I'm feeling fatigued and then I, I stop and switch. I don't want to go to a breaking point because that's usually when you get injured. Okay, that's enough on that one. Um, now I'm going to do the little kickbacks. I'm actually going to start with, with the uh, left leg. Something to keep in mind is when you're doing workouts, listen to your body. Don't push it to the point where you're starting to really hurt too much. I know for me personally, excuse me, Penny. Penny just went through my legs. Uh, for me personally, uh, when I'm running as much as I am right now, uh, like I'm plugging in about 90 miles a week. So I'll do this routine about three times a week, or I try to. Uh, but I don't, I don't go to the point where I'm hurting because, you know, then, then I'm risking injury. Penny, Penny likes to chase my foot when I do these, so I don't actually get to do these often with her around. Yeah, 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 you're excited. Okay, well that's, uh, that's basically the routine. Um, so um, again, you can, you can continue to do this um, for another couple sets. Uh, Penny's really excited right now. She thinks that, she thinks that this is a game. <laughs> it's not a game, Penny, it's a workout. Uh, so anyways, uh, in, the only thing that you should add to your video, obviously uh, maybe having a better, um, a better view. My view was not the best because um, I just propped the iPhone up on a, on a table and, uh, and recorded while, while I worked out with my dog. Um, so having someone record you and, and show the whole view so you could see the whole body would be better. Um, other things to keep in mind is keeping a landscape form like I did so that when people watch this on a computer, it's, it's easier to see, you get a, a brighter view. Um, you probably would have seen me better if I put it uh, vertically, but you know, then, then you, wouldn't, you wouldn't get a, a wide view on your screen when you're watching. So it's kind of um, you know, give or take uh, whatever you think is best for your video, okay? Um, uh, Penny, Penny wants to say hi as well. So. Um, <laughs> Uh, another thing to keep in mind is, is having your handout ready. Um, you want, you should uh, have a handout that shows the exercises. So normally for this routine, um, I would have, I would have had a, a handout with um, a list of the exercises and maybe some uh, pictures of, of what they look like. And it also give you a breakdown of how many reps and sets to do and, and so forth. Uh, and then as well, I, I'd probably add in some stretches for a cool down, you know, stretching the quads, the hamstrings, the glutes, um, the calves uh, would be ideal um, and stretch stretch your basset hound as well <laughs> all right well thanks for joining me guys I hope this helped um, if you have questions feel free to reach out to me see you in lecture bye